More news. Ricky Pearsall opened up his practice window today. So he technically has three weeks where he can practice and then uh, they'll either activate him or they won't. Um, how do you see this one going? Like this, it seems like fans are really looking forward to the beginning of the Ricky Pearsall era for a few reasons. I mean, one, he was a first round pick and two, he survived a shooting. He, this guy is quite, uh, he's like a, a folk hero. What do you think yeah. is in store for Ricky Pearsall this season? If he gets on the field and, and plays and, and does halfway decent, that's such a remarkable story. I'm excited to see him. He's the 49ers first round draft pick and we haven't seen him in the preseason because of his shoulder injury. And then he got shot and it's, you know, we're going to, going into the, you know, week seven uh, and hopefully he's in this game. I would love to see him. And if you look at like the success that all these rookies have had for the 49ers, that makes me want to see him even more. I would love to see what Ricky Pearsall can do. Maybe he'll add a different element to this 49ers receiver group that they don't have right now. Jawan Jennings is great, not very fast. Brandon Ayuk is is good, not a traditional burner that you would you would think of. Ricky Pearsall is supposed to be really quick in space, and uh, he might be able to get open on these short routes. I'd love to see him in the slot and see what he can do, mix it up with Jawan Jennings, two different play styles um, from those two guys, and maybe it's a nice mix-up. You know, I, I hate to take away from Jawan Jennings as good as he's doing, but maybe he can take, you know, take a little from Jawan, take a little from Debo, uh, and get him in a mix. And if he can do it against the Chiefs, that would be fantastic. Uh, Ricky Pearsall needs to do well for the 49ers. He was a first round draft pick. And those guys, the reality is, has high expectations. I know he's coming off a shoulder injury. I know he's coming off of being shot, but he was a first round draft pick. And the 49ers want to know if they got their investment back. And I think fans are very curious to see how he does. See, I couldn't disagree with you more on this one. Sorry. Okay. I love you. Right. I could not disagree with you more on this one. Like the okay. idea of bringing back Ricky Pearsall off a gunshot wound mm -hmm. um, to take snaps and, and targets away from Jennings and Ayuk and Debo. Mm -hmm. nah, I wouldn't do that. Like to me, I would be surprised if he played this year. And I know they're opening up his practice window and they may even activate him, but there's just absolutely no reason to put him out there unless they feel like they're not getting something and this guy's going to improve their red zone offense. Like I, you had two catches against the Seahawks. You're already have the problem we anticipated where you're not getting him the ball enough. Now you're going to throw in another wide receiver. Like, I mean, they could, I just don't think they will. I don't think they, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't think they will. I think they're going to drag this out and they're going to say, Oh, we're not going to activate him this week. I'm not going to activate him next week. And, Maybe they'll activate him in three weeks, but then I don't think he'll be activated for games. I think they'll go really slow with him because one, he got shot in the chest. Two, the other shoulder was messed up before he got shot in the chest, and I don't know how durable that other shoulder really is. So I yeah. think there's a lot of reasons, a, a, a hundred and seven reasons why he won't play this year, barring injury mm -hmm. to someone else. Well, I don't. I don't necessarily think we disagree on that part. Like, I don't. Just, I don't know if they're gonna play him. How I disagree with your play. whole face today. Everything Ryan. about me. Yeah. Everything about you. <laughs> hey, it's all right. It's all right, man. <laughs> I accept it. I accept it. Uh, I. I do think. I so I personally, as long as Ricky Pearsall feels like he's ready to play, I want to see him play. I want to see what the 49ers got in their first round draft pick. It's up to him, obviously. Is he mentally ready? Is he physically ready? If he is, I want to see it. Now, will the 49ers do it? I don't know. We haven't seen any Jacob Cowing at all, and he's been ready this whole time. He had, a, he had a little brief shoulder injury, but he's been here, and he's your punt returner. And honestly, you no know, disrespect to Jacob Cowing, but I think he's a better wide receiver than he is a punt returner. Mm. Punt returner, he's averaging like five yards per return, which is like 30 I want to say it's like 48th or something like 45th or something like that in the NFL. It's not good. He hasn't been a good punt returner yet. Now, maybe he'll break one and be fine. He, he couldn't even get his traction in the Seahawks game. But, hey, throw Ricky Persall out there in punt return. Throw him in kick return. Mix him in. Like What we have seen this year and what we should have learned from the Seahawks game is play your freaking rookies, man. They, The best three, three out of the best, three out of the five best players in the 49ers defense last week were rookies. And yeah. the only reason they got their opportunity is because of injury. 
I, I want to see the 49ers trust their rookies more. And I made this point before real quick, and I just want to make it one more time. The benefit of playing rookies, for one, they might be good. But for two, they're on cheap contracts. And if you don't plan the rookie year, you're wasting an entire year of a cheap contract. And then you're going to have to either lose them or re-sign them and more expensive. So this is the way, especially with Brock Purdy coming up on a big contract. You need to start playing rookies because you're going to have a very expensive quarterback and you need some cheaper players that can make a difference. And I think you do that with rookies. So I would love to see him play rookie. I don't know if they will. I'd love to see it. But to me, this is like Ricky, Ricky Pearsall is a holdover from a whole different era of 49ers football. Try to remember six months ago when Brandon Ayuk wasn't signed yet and it was looking like he might not be here long term or he might get traded. And uh, also six months ago when people didn't really know what Jawan Jennings could do and it seemed like wide receiver was a, a need. Now it seems like one of the most overstocked positions on the team. I mean, Jennings can't get enough targets. Like, none of them get enough targets. It's an it's, issue. It's been the... I felt that way when they drafted him. Why, why did you draft two wide receivers when you're... It never made sense to me. I don't understand why you went round one wide receiver when you have extending Brandon When Ayuk. it happened, people were like, oh, they're for sure trading Ayuk or Debo. They're definitely trading one of those guys. Actually, no. They're extending yes. Ayuk. They're extending yeah. Jennings. And yeah. Jennings might be better than the other two. And they're all good. And, and, and really, Cowing and Pearsall are both, if we're being real, based on what we've seen in college, they're both slot receivers. Yeah. So you extend to Juwan Jennings, who looked like one of the best receivers on the team right now, and then you draft the two slot receivers. It never made sense to me. Also, I wouldn't understand just throwing Pearsall out there ahead of Cowing when Cowing's been here. He missed a couple of weeks with a hamstring injury, but other than that, he's been here. He's been grinding. He's been playing. Like no disrespect to Ricky Pearsall, but how do you leapfrog Jacob Cowing after that long of an absence? Like I know you're yeah. good, but so was he. And he's he played in the preseason. He's been here. I don't know. I got a theory about that. I think I've been feeling this way. I think I mentioned it once. And excuse me, it's my 10 4 hat. But I feel like they didn't want to pop Cowing out there until Ricky had his chance to shine. Because if you show if you put Cowing out there and he looks really freaking good, then the the decision to draft Pearsall at 31 looks worse. Yeah. So maybe that's part of the reason why they're slow playing Cowing because they're like, we need to get Ricky out here before we can show off Cowing. I don't know. There are all these weird roster politics. And that that look, that could be ultimately why he gets on the field this year. It's like, we took you in the first round. It was controversial. We can't have you having zero catches this year. Although, if they feel like, look, he's just not ready, we'll, we'll, they'll look at him in practice, have an open mind, and they say, man, he's just not ready. Like, he hasn't been here. He's behind Jacob Cowing. Instead of taking the L publicly and saying, we, we, we drafted the wrong guy, say, hey, you know, he's injured. The other shoulder is an issue, or he's just, it's going to take him some time. I mean, they seem like they have a built-in excuse. If, if he doesn't play this year and they go slow with him, I think Niner fans would say, most of them say, okay, you didn't really need him, and he went through incredible trauma this year. Like, There's no reason not to go slow with him. Be careful. Well, and it has to be, <laughs> this leads you to believe that something's going on next year, right? Like, are they going to trade? D Look, Debo and Brandon Ayuk were both on the trading block at, during the draft. Both of them were. That's public knowledge, been reported. Niners admitted it. So maybe that's what's going to happen next year in this coming off season. Doesn't make a lot of sense based on the contracts that were given out. But maybe they want to offload Brandon Ayuk and his contract this offseason. Maybe they want to offload Debo Samuel and his contract this coming offseason. So we'll see what the need is. But if you're going to do that, you need to see what Ricky Pearsall can do on the field before you make those moves.